everyone's fussy to have video where today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video today I decided I wanted to do a tutorial video because this is something that I've always wanted to do and I really struggle to do it and find out how I can do it and make it work for me so I've decided to show you guys the way that works for me for what what I'm going to show you but basically I'm going to be showing you as you can tell by the title that's why you clicked on this video how to make a minecraft texture pack uh, so yeah let's get straight into it so to get the textures what you're going to want to do let's close this down uh, you want to go into here this this is for windows 7 by the way and you're going to want to click type in percentage app data percentage and what that'll do is it'll open up this folder you've probably been in this folder before you want to click on dot minecraft and then versions and here you're going to choose what version you want to make your texture pack for so for instance i'd make mine for 1.9 then here you're going to have two files you can have a jar file and a json file um what you're going to do is click on the jar file right first of all sorry you're going to have to download a program called winraw you probably already have it but if you don't link will be in the description what you're going to do is cl um click that and then click open with is it Op open with then winrar archive and what i'll do is open it um I'll just close that off and here you'll see a load of folders lots and lots of folders they actually all got on my desktop uh, accidentally at one point and that was a mess to clean up <laughs> anyway you're gonna click you want to go on assets and then you want to drag it into there i'm not going to do that though because i have already dragged it under here and here is my assets folder now this is all of the textures in minecraft this is all of them uh, so you want to click on the assets folder you want to click on minecraft textures and here's all the textures that you'll be changing let's just say um i'm going to change items let's let's do a sword so let's type in here sword i can't spell um what sword should we change let's change the wooden sword okay so next program you're going to need it's called pain.net link to that will also be in the description um so you're going to want to open pain.net here you are and you want to drag this into pain.net and then click open and then as you can tell it's really small so what you're going to do is grab this and drag it in and there we are here you have this so you can just edit the texture here i'm just gonna create something i don't really know what i'm gonna create uh but yeah i'll be back once i've created this thing okay so this is what i've created it's a bit weird i know um but yeah so what you want to do after that is click file and then just click save okay and then there you are the check the texture here will change in a second there we are so now this is the new texture for your sword okay right now what you're going to want to do you've got an asset here you probably want to have a picture for your minecraft texture pack and that is a pack png so what you want to do is just pick a picture i've got my um, youtube picture and just have it as pack so let's just drag both of these over there um crap and the last thing you want to do is make your pack work is you're going to have to have a pack dot mc meta now this is the part that confuses me so what i did is i i suggest you download a texture pack called the elms mashup pack um and what you're gonna do is take the um, png from here because well this is this is what it is it's i call it fossil's pvp pack here you can put whatever you want in here that's what your pack name is going to be so i suggest taking it from there but if not here's the png um i'll put that in the link in the description actually and then you want to drag it over here you're gonna highlight all of them and then click send to compressed zipped file so it will be sending all of them to a compressed zipped file okay so that is done now and it will come up with a winrar file here now you can just click on that rename and let's just call it um test there we are uh, so now what you're going to want to do is go to here 
click and type in percent of data percent again. There we are. Sorry, sorry, that took a little while. Um, so you know, dot Minecraft resource packs, and here's all my tests. As I said, I failed a lot until I figured finally figured out. By the way, to get the um pack meta, I got the Elm Marshall pack, and then I just dragged the pack dot MC meta out of it. Uh, so yeah, then you want to put test in here, and there we are. Now you just want to have to go into Minecraft and check out your text pack. Okay, so now that you are in Minecraft, you are going to want to click Options, Resource Packs, and here are all your resource packs. Uh, we call it Test Zip, so you want to go along, click Test Zip, click Done. Might take a little while, oh, didn't take that long at all. Uh, now you just want to jump into a random world and let's test out the pack. So the only thing we actually did was edit the sword. So it's going to have a look at the sword in a second, real quick. Oh yeah, this is me having a look at... Um, all the stuff that I had textured in my other one. But yeah, let's look at the wooden sword. And here it is. Looking cool. Yeah, I like it. Now we can chop things with our new sexy wooden sword. Uh, so yeah, to make a texture back, all you want to do is probably just edit the whole thing. And then voila, here you are. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, Steve for a second. <laughs> yeah, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.